Hey, toss me those things real quick. <laughs> What's up guys, Dr. Mike Merck here at the Specific Chiropractic Center. It's back here at B-Fitness with head trainer Lucas Nelson. How's it going today? Good, Mike. It's, it, it's been a little bit since we've been a video for these it's been guys. A minute. Uh, so today we're gonna go over a piece of equipment that I would say every single gym has. If they don't have it, I think shame on them, right? I yep. think a lot of people have these in their house. Um, so what are, we, what are we going over today? And these are foam rollers. So these are two just traditional foam rollers. This one you have a few bells and whistles on it. It's got a little bit of indentions and stuff. It, it just gets a little bit deeper in the muscle tissue. Okay. And then uh, you have the poor man's uh, foam roller. You can go down to your local hardware store for about a 99 cents a, a foot. That and looks, it gets a PVC pipe. That so looks, I don't recommend that this. That looks miserable is it, what that it's looks miserable. like. We won't have you on this one. Oh, thank but God. we will however use these three. Okay, sounds uh, good. Great form of stretching. Get your body ready for exercise. Okay. Uh, flush lactic acid after exercise. Gotcha. Just kind of show you what you should be doing uh, properly with foam rolling. So. Okay, cool. Let's get into it, guys. Okay, guys. So now the big objective here is which one do you pick? Uh, we kicked the PVC pipe out. You know, we're going to leave him alone for right now. We yeah. don't need him. But... Uh, you, you can't pick wrong. Each one is a right pick. So if you're in your local gym or you're at home, or you're looking to buy one in your house, it doesn't matter which one it is because essentially it all does the same thing, compression. So we're gonna go with this one here. Okay, fanciest one. The fanciest one is yep. the bells and whistles one, we'll call it. Yep. So so with this thing, like what? Yeah, so, so you can what do I, different areas, right? Yeah, you can do different areas. So what I do is I, I just start my day. So actually what you can do is just sit on it. So this is okay. preparation for exercise. Okay. Before I go on the treadmill, before I prepare for exercise, I just get a foam roller out, I sit there and I go back and forth. So what I do is I get okay. my glutes a little bit, so you can straighten your leg out. And it's all, I'm assuming we want to be somewhat angled, so you're not you straight on. You want to be a little board. bit angled, but actually what you should okay. do is, is sit upright more. Okay. Um, and, and the more pressure you apply, means less pressure on your hands. Okay. So right now you're working your glute, you want to work your way down a little bit towards your hamstring, but what you can do is you can rock back and forth, you get your IT band into it a little bit, you can even go to the point where you roll completely over and you start hitting your quads. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and it's basically what you do, you're foam rolling, you're, you're rolling out your muscle, you're preparing you for exercise. It's kind of like a, like a, a meat tenderizer, like you're doing a flank steak, you got the meat pounder on the table and you're cranking it out, you know, you're tenderizing the meat. That's essentially what you're doing with your muscles is you're getting prepared for exercise. Yeah. You're loosening them up in, in, in full rolling. So go ahead and roll over on your left side a little okay. bit. So Here we go. yourself out a little bit. Here we go. And then just go back and forth. Now I can tell by your response on this, you haven't done a whole lot of foam rolling. Nope, so. nope. I, I know it's good for me, but you guys, I don't know if you've ever foam rolled before. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So It's not, but it's an after the fact thing. It feels good when you're done. So actually what I want you to do, Mike, is start crawling your hands back a little bit. We'll okay. start getting your calves on there, okay. your lower hamstrings. You can actually get both feet on here. Um, let's take it past your knees and let's do your calves, your Achilles. Okay. Um, and. You know, right now it's it's the same amount of pressure on both sides of the leg. Yep. If you want a little bit more pressure on either leg, so like exactly what you're doing, you're rotating your hips, you're putting a little bit more pressure on one side versus the other. Just work it back and forth where that muscle applies. And the way you feel warm is, is, is that's a personal preference. So like for me, it takes a little bit to get going in terms of being warm from foam rolling. Some people are a little bit different. Some people who are more flexible, not as tight as I am, they can get this done in a few rotations through the foam roller. Yeah. Like for me, it takes several times going back and forth. Um, I get my calf, my soleus, uh, and I kind of hit all my legs. So what okay. I want you to do now is we'll flip you over. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and we're gonna, Here we go, guys. Yep, yeah, we're going to do is quad. So okay. you're going to lay right over the top of it. So you're going to extend your legs flat. Yep. You want both legs on you or one Start leg? with both legs first. Okay, gotcha. So then work back and forth just by shuffling your elbows kind of back and forth on it. Okay. So kind of just back and forth like this. Yep, and then lean back and forth with your body. It's kind of like a jigsaw. So okay. go back and forth and just leave your elbow stationary. Okay. And continue to compress. Yep, now start rolling over to your right or left side. So you get a little bit outside that quad. Ah, guys, this hurts. Yeah, but, but like I said, like it, it's, it's gonna help you when you're done with it. It, oh, it feels sure. better after the fact. So actually what you're gonna do is completely roll onto the right side here. So you're gonna get your IT band. That's a lot of issues that a lot of people face. Like if you're sitting, you're in your car, uh, you're driving, you're at your task, uh, IT band gets real tight. You know, you're hitting this right now. Uh, it's a great way to stretch that out. That's actually a real hard muscle to stretch out. So like foam rolling is my number one suggestion for this and you're doing it exactly right. So a half a dozen times on a side, roll over and get your other IT band. And My legs are gonna fall off. You call, they won't fall off, but okay. 
But now if you were to stand up, you'd probably feel really good. Probably, you're probably right. And it's, it's one of those things where, yeah, you're gonna hit those sensitive spots, but those are the spots that you kinda wanna stay on and really break up those adhesions. Yep, and, and every gym has a foam roller. Um, you know, but most people don't know how to use them. But, but it's super simple. Yeah. Uh, super simple, anywhere where you have a muscle on your body that you can compress, you can use a foam roller. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I think it's important, just what he said, any place where there's a muscle on the body, that's where you can use it. So, like obviously you like you can you can go over like straight on your back and over your bones, but it's Absolutely. better off, but it's better off if you lay it or angle on one side and really break up the huge muscles. Yeah, I mean even as, as simple as like, like that. Uh, you know, forearm. Okay. You know, you get your tricep. Gotcha. You know, you can get to the point where you know lat. Gotcha. A lot of lat mobility, um, and lats are so hard to stretch out. So if you can compress them, uh, you're way ahead of the game getting ready for. Can I just get a bed made out of these things? Yeah, you probably could. Okay. We got enough of them here. Perfect, so perfect, perfect, perfect. You could be the first bed foam roller designer guy. God, that would be lame. <laughs> I would be so lame. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video we did. I'm sure you guys will see us back here soon. And uh, as always, Lucas, thanks for coming on. Yep. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. And, Thank you, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys learned something about a foam roller and uh, how they're your best and worst friend at the gym. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you guys.